Hello YouTube friends. It's a beautiful October 2nd, 2013 uh, here in Ottawa, Canada and uh, it's must be, uh, I think it's about 22 Celsius or 72 degrees Fahrenheit. It's a really beautiful October day here and uh, just wanted to show you a project I worked on in the summer. Uh, it's a uh, hardware hacked 24 volt uh, cordless lawnmower. I found this at the curb and uh, somebody had gotten rid of it because uh, the note on it said that uh, it worked well, like uh, there was no problems with it, but uh, th the replacement batteries were uh, too expensive and so it's these are uh, gel cells uh, 12 volt gel cells, uh, 20 amp hour, and I looked them up on the web, and uh, a local supplier here in Ottawa is selling them for like $74 each. So I guess uh, somebody didn't want to spend that much money to actually uh, renew them after they're about three years old. So they left it out at the curb, and uh, I took it and what I did was uh, I found there's screws that hold this top on here and they had some of them had uh, seized on there I used a uh, liquid wrench on some of them and it didn't work so I ended up uh, just breaking out this uh, front grill here to get access to it and I was able to uh, finally get it off and uh, this is I'll show you what I did it here basically this uh, holder here was for the two gel cell batteries that gave it the uh, 24 volts two 12 volts in series and I had a, a good uh, heavy-duty transformer that I had bought in the 90s uh, for a power supply project but I never got around to so uh, I put that in here and uh, I got a some like a 50 amp uh, bridge rectifier and uh, an electrolytic capacitor to smooth out the uh, DC voltage. And uh, I basically had to uh, rewire the whole thing. I uh, I was able to trace what wires come from the, uh, the top switch, and uh, so. This is how it works here. It's, yeah, it's a nice can of geese flying over. Uh, it's got this uh, safety key that goes into the slot, and then uh, this handle flips back, and it's uh, actually a micro switch inside that. So what I did was uh, that was set up for the uh, the 24 volts. DC and uh, I had a I had a cable from uh, a, an oven uh, a microwave oven that I, I found it was the uh, power cable for it it's pretty heavy duty I found that at the curb as well so I I reused that microwave oven uh, power cable for this and I just tie wrapped it down the, the handle here and just wired it in here. I used Marek connectors and uh, heat shrink tubing and uh, more zip ties and I just drilled some holes to uh, mount the uh, transformer inside there and also what I did was uh, I had some uh, zip cord like a uh, lamp cord here <clears throat> and I just uh, basically I took a, I don't know if you can see it or not, but uh, I put a circuit breaker inside the, uh, the top cover and it's right there. That wasn't there before. I just put it in, installed that to uh, be a, a safety feature so if uh, it hit anything like a, like a branch or something, the blade hit a branch and it stopped it. It wouldn't uh, 
pull too much current or just uh, flip that circuit breaker and all you need to do is just once it pops it out you just press it back in and uh, you're ready to go again and I tried to keep it as neat as possible and as safe as possible and I wouldn't recommend anybody actually uh, trying this like if you don't know anything about elect electrical stuff you can uh, seriously uh, hurt yourself and uh, but I just tried it to see how it would work as an experiment and uh, it actually does cut grass the torque isn't that great on it because this uh, this transformer is only an 18 volt but it uh, puts out a fair amount of current but uh, it still does cut grass and I'll just show it This works just uh, you pull this out a little bit. So it does work, and uh, I didn't have to spend a lot of money on it either. And uh, it's just an experiment to see how it, if it actually did work or not. And uh, experiment was success. Could have had better torque on it, but uh, it still does work. So that's my uh, hardware hacked uh, 24 volt cordless Earthwise uh, lawnmower hardware hacked into 120 volts and take care